It is everybody's wish to be able-bodied, but disability is beyond one's control. Acceptance of disability and for one to say I am proudly able is one's choice. Disability is not inability. Welcome to this brand new edition of Proudly Able, a program that seeks to inspire people with disabilities to look beyond their disability, scale new heights and achieve greatness in their lives. On this program, we will feature people with disabilities that have defied all odds to break new grounds and achieve greatness in their lives. In our society, people discriminate against people with disabilities and they are not given equal opportunities as their able-bodied counterparts. My name is Ratizong Chain and I'll be hosting this exciting program. But firstly, I'll share my story with you. Ratito was born without a disability until 2013, when she lost her sight due to migraine. She was abused emotionally and physically by her husband. Like many women, she suffered in silence, pretending as if everything was normal. And depression took a toll on her until she developed severe headaches. I lost my sight, in, if I remember quite well, it was 19 July 9, 2013. It was due to severe migraine headaches. Basically, it was caused by, to an extent, my gender-based violence. Uh, someone was in a marriage, a lot of fighting, and things were not moving quite well. And at that point, there was one person who was too reserved. I wouldn't tell anyone what was happening. Everything was just piling up that ended up me having a migraine headaches. I would have my attacks, I could see they collapse. Waking up the next morning or making waking up after two days in the hospital. So when the doctors were busy concentrating on my migraine headaches, unfortunately, my eyes, I lost my sight. They saying kuti msoro waka strain at singa zinunza light kumazisu and singa zisu zikawa paralyzed. So that was the end of my sight. A white wedding is every girl's dream, and Ratito was no exception. She, her family and friends ate and danced on a special day, but little did they know that this was the beginning of a miserable journey that was to cost Ratito her eyesight. I was married and I wedded in 2005, that was October, and what hurts me the most is when I lost my sight, I was with my husband, Taito Garatese, and apparently this happened when we were in SA. I had to come home to try and run around. Husband Yangu later on followed, I think it was, I left South Africa in July, came back, Iyakazotera, in September. I think Paka Uyao, he chickened out, he was fast and what the doctors had said. It was untreatable. As Chaka Ziri sick, his situation is actually quite kangaiyave. Yes, they were saying that it's not going to come away now. But my marriage issues are still way up. At that point, my family could not afford it. He went back and promised that I know that we no shanda, so that we'll be able to take care of the family since I'm going to move on and But what pains me the most is when he went back. He went back for good. Up to now, he doesn't even know my number. He doesn't even call me. He doesn't even talk to me. And this is it. It denial here. Quack accept here. Any trauma here. What is thinking whatsoever? I don't know. But I had to put all that behind me so that I can get back on the life young. Chiremba can do funza with him. We must reach each other. We can't do that. 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 We can't Losing her sight was devastating to her and her family members. In her mind, she had become useless and irrelevant to the society. After a lot of counseling, Ratizo finally discovered herself and started believing that she can still fulfill her dreams despite her disability. I had a lecture from my father and one time he told me about life in a sequence in a bank entry. You know when you're entering Doripa Bank, if you don't close the door behind you, the one in front of you won't open. So, you know, that basically told me that for me to enter the new life, I had to close the door behind me. 
and closing the door behind me it was not an easy thing to do honestly it was just something else as I, I, but i had to accept it and close the door behind me so that i could open the door in front of me and move on so apparently right now i can just say i've opened the door in front of me like you've seen ukuti i'm now able to do my house chores do everything on my own i'm even into charity work i work with the blind because when i went for rehab i was rehabilitated at the blawaye public library i met some few guys there that's where i did my rehab i met some other guy who is also blind he's the one who taught me mobility how to move on my own navigate my way how the blind the things that they use the landmarks how they mark their roads how they know they've come to an end of the road how they know they should cross the road how to use my sense of hearing my sense of smell even my sense of feeling everything i was taught by other fellow friends Ratizo now does all her household chores that include cooking, washing and ironing clothes, sweeping the house without any assistance. She also assists her daughter with school homework. Basically, I wake up in the morning, I clean my room, I do my washing, I wash my clothes and my daughter's clothes, come into the kitchen, prepare myself porridge, or if it's not porridge, I make myself a cup of tea, just turn on the electric jug and to pay something to eat for myself like as you can see I'm cooking sansa so that I'm going to cook a no don't want any sound and then just timing basically blind people normally we use our sense of smell so that's that I cook a ta zvakanaka rino ka kunhuvirira kana ka rinoita so normally ndaka zvikapa dozen poto yangu ndoto honzo kuti zva ready kuti ndichikwanza kuti ase kukwa kumona sadza rangu ndomona sadza rangu if it's lunch time I go and bath, kugeza on my own, check my washing yam kana yaita, iron it to just pack it and put it in the wardrobe. Chaka hembe zangu zokupeka. And I don't do the outside jobs really. Normally I just do the inside. Kungo chaira o kusuka, nekubika kana mamu waka jirao, luko nongo suka ma dishes. So basically that's what I normally do. Hopefully, you now have an appreciation of who Ratizom Chairi is. And my story proves that anyone is prone to disability at any given time. So, Vakuru Vakati Sekaure Mawafa. Let's support people with disabilities. We are taking a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back to Proudly Able, a program that brings to you inspiring stories of people with disabilities that have defied all odds to fulfill their dreams. On this program, we want people with disabilities to find their inner power and turn their weaknesses into strength. Today, I am sharing my story with you on how I have grown from strength to strength since I lost my sight in 2013. It was not an easy journey to get where I am today after accepting my condition and encouraging myself that Rati, you can do it. Pangua Yoyo, I was still young, but as I could see that everything had changed, I had to be the one to assist my mother in everything she had to do. Like, I had to be the one to do my house chores despite being young, and I had to assist her with other things that I wasn't supposed to be doing at that age. People are not moon can and at that point my mother was at point zero, so everything had completely changed. I just encouraged her that one day she would be someone better and she should just share Maziso doesn't mean it's the end of the road. There's always somewhere be something beyond. Not all not people think that discrimination disability is contagious. Urema umbo for Kazadzan was different from malaria than a TB. Can I do it in the Ninsinga one in the Ninsinga one? But do not all not panic up with Semana, Katno Sangana Naku. 
even my families even my community kwati nenge tiri i would love kuti vanhu vakangonzwisisa kuti zvavangori o iyo ndo zvatingori there is an adage which says where there is a will there is a way and true to that strategy has shown a great zeal to work hard and accomplish a vision despite her disability she does not expect people to feel pity for her and does not want to survive on donations but she works for her survivor like any other human being i'm now a different person i now have self confidence i'm even proud of myself i'm happy i'm a happy woman i don't want to lie i'm now a happy person why because maybe i've accepted my situation and done whatever i think i'm trying my best to live a life a happy life despite being not sighted Ratizo does what most people without disabilities fail to do all alone she travels from Blawayo where she stays to Harare Mbare Msika to buy potatoes for resale in Blawayo Something la our red soil ya atengwa kuti ale market ngoba abantu bave funa ma potatoes amahle so something la our red soil Sometimes our red soil are super avutwa kuti umusikana uyi baba pano ya joda ma potatoes ayi Don't Uyisibare ndakangosanga naye musika muno patatanga kutotaura tese I think because of where I come from ndotora ma potatoes kuno kuti natengesa kuplawaya patango wirirana kubva ipapo anondibatsira kusarudza kunduudza kuti nasi msika hazviri kuitere kana kuti hazvisikuita so basically ndo zvimwe zvino zvandinoita zvinondiraramisa wo inini kuti ndi kwanise kurarama inini nevana vangu so kuno kumbare ndo kwandi ngatoti ndo kubasa gawuya ndika hoda o mapotatoes normally kana zvakadzorawo ndotoro 30 to 40 pockets but kana zvakaomawo kuma 20 zvichingoendawo zvakadaro but i go zvine zvai can't complain pavakazogamchira condition yavo period wakachinja stare cuz she would she was able to work to go around look for the look for money like she was able to become the old woman she used to be she's a brave young lady very brave brief saka pataka subva ipapo akati takabata mboti aende ku nawaye kanda kasotera iko kunde kaona kutotanga kuita zvimwe zvino pakanga kupota chenda ku library achi ita zvinhu zvake zvakanga achiita so ndinongotenda kuti mwari akamitira zvakanaka kuburikidza nekuti I would like to encourage you Kuti, you should never neglect a person when she loses something in her life. And to those of my age, Musambo Famaganyara Kuti, she's blind. Love her the way she is because she will always be the one who gave birth to you. I'm sharing my story with you, not for you to feel pity for me but for it to inspire you, whether you're disabled or not. Disabled people deserve equal opportunities as everyone else. They should not be discriminated on basis of their disability, as enshrined in the Constitution of Zimbabwe. We're taking a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The visually impaired people in Zimbabwe lag behind in terms of information and latest technology. Nowadays, the internet and the social media, such as WhatsApp, Twitter, and Facebook, have become the main source of information. Hence, it is of paramount importance for everyone to have a smartphone to be able to connect to the internet. 
In 2016, Ratito formed an organization called Access to Information for the Blind with the aim of promoting the use of modern technology by the blind to access information. In Zimbabwe, the blind lag behind in terms of technology and the able-bodied do not help either. Instead, they buy them the small phones commonly referred to as Kambuzi. To be marginalized to an extent, people might try to deny it. I got a newspaper on one in Braille. And if I don't hear it on the news or on the radio, that means there's no way otherwise and share one information pertaining on what is happening around me. So with the internet, you know what's happening, you know what's happening, you know what's Google, you know what's happening. Of which one are blind and do not know how to do it, you know what's happening. So we want to make sure that in the world of technology because as you can see we are going to a paperless world anyway send me an email uh, just up me in indechim boots then how do i up how do i send an email it makes life you do stuck to an extent so it is my dream that i see every blind person in zimbabwe be it be a child like the president is saying good inclusive education Tikwani sego kukwani saguti from zero grade mwana singa woni aru kutichko ma computers they have access to it and even try to conscientize society edu abatu azivi kuti we are able to use those phones we are able to use the computer. Lawayo Public Library is the only one in Zimbabwe which has a prayer section that caters for the blind but it is undercapitalized. I'm tora over so says Lawayo Public Library. Because the maybe if it was a, a, a building, I it in a sorry state. Because I was eight. I was in the 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 of which of which needs someone to learn to abuse someone, so no kuti mo no kuti vanuari disabled kato no visually impaired, how disadvantaged they are, no affect us, no affect any mo mo ritao. So anga singa tumbo kono, kana wita say even using a phone, anga singa tumbo kono. So tagam tora tika basera na nae because also she was willing to kuti adzit. Uh, as you speak now, to come this have my mobility lessons, to come meter counseling, because I don't know that I'm 24-7 and I'm going to It's either in the garage, in the house, 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 in the house. That was a day-to-day -day activity. Right, it's okay now. Operate my, 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 my phone, my smartphones, my tablets. I can now also uh, use a computer uh, on her own. She is now one of a uh, few females who single own watch champions of advocacy. I now have a task on my hands to have a Braille library in each and every province in Zimbabwe. This would mean that every blind person is able to walk in in a library and be able to Google it, assignment and even be taught how to use my computers. In order to further a bit to promote access to information, Ratizwa appointed the musician Suluman Chimbetu as the brand ambassador of the access to information for the blind. Ms. Ratizwa, she can do a lot of things. I was able to get to the house of Ratizwa. I was able to get to WhatsApp, I was able to get to Facebook, I'm going to go to the It's a $10 note, it's a $5 note. It's a bond note, it's a US dollar. Those who are going to go to the city, access to information, a technology. So far, Tamboza, I'm going to go to the city, my computers, my books. I'm going to go to the city, so I'm going to go to the city, so I'm going to go to the city. At not the Braille section. Um, so far, I'm going to 
do kune letting the library in a section ya braille for the blind vano kwanza kuwa na computer yakadaro ne ma books avano kwanza kuverenga vachi vishandisa ikoko asi dambudzi ko hombe riripo ndire kuti zvoni um kuburikidza nekuomera kwaita vanhu pari zvino um vachinji vano gona kupromise kuti ndinoita chakati nechakati kana tichinge tava approach asi matambudzi ko aripo um ekuti taito kumbira kuti dai kune vano gona kubatsira Next uh, section, I tell you, I tell section library. Tell you, I get it. I can't library. The mama, mama, tell me, Zipo, I go to Sangani, Kona, Oni, Vanu, Vaka, Vani, Urema, we go to Sawona. The other thing, Pane, Van, Isusu, to know, Ona, to know, Shandisa, Munuya, Sanga, Oni, Oni, Naim Street, same, same. Five o'clock, we are to meet at the plate. We come here past street to prepare. We come here, Mary. Zuni, Zuzi, Zuzi. I got back to work. I was going to go to Mondiro, Mama Pindeshi. Robatiro, Robatiro. Mary is home. Go and get it. Go and get it. Mama Pinda Queen. Manota Harireka. You know what Pinda is going to do. You know what Churu Roji. Mom. Saka. Tambo juga aku pensiran tu aku si uyu asir aku wanau, ada nak cari aku benefit, aku bapa aku pemu aku ruit baik aku. Rati jo never stops to dream, and the wish is to have a fruit and vegetable shop. I have big dreams, naza I dream dingori ni a vegetable shop, aku si dingin di si tenge sama vegetables, all sorts of vegetables like blawa yu jayo basically i rich ni ya aku si. It's rich in vegetation. It's rich in nature, stocks and more be and what what what. So that you find good vegetable, chairo chairo, no go not to need some flower. So if I'm going to have a vegetable shop, you could you know travel. I'm one person who loves traveling a lot. You know, in the Kwakatu, go to Chino Chaga, you know, to research, you know, Chaga Madoma, Sangunda, one and two and three, Sapa, my carrots and whatever, whatever. You go to make fruit and veggies, shop kang, kaning and chirana. As for quality, most people ask me, "Kuti saka ma potatoes ay? Uno a order say? Uno zia say kuti this is the exact size that you want." Normally, I use into butter to tindo one or two size yanda piwa ay. Dio ere ma otno ona ne ma oko. Iko jine zinda ba kuburu kabas ba kwachenda moya. Kwanzi no enda kune munda uriko kwanzi no order madomas kwanzi no chora ba kwachenda moya kwanzi no atenge sabu kwa yo. So I'm going to go to the Domasra Chora Kanaka say this is the type of tomato that I get from the Dosa also sell in flower. Hi, hi, space, M, M, W, E. Hi, how are you? Long time. We'll send 749, edit box. Send. Send. We'll send 749. My message is gone. Today, hi, how are you? Long time. 1531. Showing items 23 to 28 of 28. I want to read my messages. I can just messaging. go to a message. Say I've received a message. Messaging. Showing items. Modata enjoy fast and reliable. Daily news introducing free news on the go. Plus 263,100. Being disabled does not mean you automatically become a beggar. God bless each one of us with talents. Hence, there is need for us to discover ourselves. As for me, the sky is the limit. I do not look at my disability, but I am proud of my achievements. And I am proudly able. I hope you've been inspired by my story. Thank you for watching. We meet again next week for another exciting episode of Proudly Able. God bless you. Goodbye.